G'day, nerds. My name is Brody. Welcome to the Post Credit Show. That's right, Luge. I'm taking over now. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I'm taking over. So, we've got a bit of a special one for you guys. Uh, this is a new segment I'm going to try to bring in. Um, so, I don't know if everyone's familiar with this, but I used to uh, use... Uh, not use. I used to uh, participate in BuzzFeed quizzes. Do you know BuzzFeed? <laughs> Do I look that old? <laughs> oh, yeah, I had to ask, just in case, just in case. I had to ask. <laughs> Do um, I look that old? <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. snapper. <laughs> <laughs> Get no, off no. my lawn. <laughs> All right, good. I'm glad you're familiar with BuzzFeed because I want to do a couple of quizzes with you, okay? Uh, just so myself... And the people that are watching and listening can get to know you a little better, Luz. Oh, dear God. All right, so. All right, cool. Are you ready for the quizzes? I'll, I'll take you through a few different quizzes, all right? Uh, the first one, uh, the title is, You're either a Marvel hero or a Disney princess. Take this quiz to find out. Oh. Mm, that's right. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna basically how this works is I'm going to ask you different questions. Uh, sure. They're going to be multiple choice. All right. Um, a, B, B, A, A, B, B, A. <laughs> so you've already got it. You, you're going to be fine. Um, no, so I'll ask you some questions, uh, multiple choice, and you choose out of one of them, okay? Yep. Okay. All, All right, right, cool. Ready? Let's do this. Are you ready to get started? Let's do this. Let's see what, right, let's let's go, let's see go, what Marvel go. hero I am. Or princess. No, hero. We'll see. <laughs> all right. Pick an animal, all right, between these two, okay? Wolf and a horse. Hmm. Well, I've always really enjoyed wolves, but I am hung like a... No, we'll go with wolves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, we'll go wolves with that one. All right, first question locked in, wolves. All right, pick your favorite food out of the two. Okay. All right, fast food or cakes and crumpets. So fast food, oh, Lele, do you like Macca's or like cakes, like cupcakes, normal but cakes, I'm, But I'm not really a fan of cakes, but I do love crumpets. Yeah, it is a bit of a tricky one, eh? Oh, well, you have to you have to choose between the mm, two crumpets. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Fast food, I guess. I mean, food? look at me. I look no. like, like I'm a, I've got a walking McDonald's sign on my forehead here. So we'll go with fast foods. <laughs> okay, go okay, go. Okay. That's fast a receding food. hairline joke for all those playing at home. <laughs> fast foods locked in. Okay, okay. Now, I was just gonna see if there's more options. Okay, okay. So next is what's your best quality? Oh well, we just spoke about that earlier. All uh, right, but you can <laughs> no. So you can only pick between the two. Out of the two, which oh, one would okay. be your best, better quality? Okay. All right. Um, radiant op optimism. Say this is this is how you know why I don't I didn't go to uni. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> radiant, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> radiant optimism or fearless determination. Out of the two. Oh, probably fearless determination. Yeah? Yeah, I reckon All I'm right. pretty determined. Uh, uh, yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know. I mean, no, 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 no. That, that's determined a fair question. Determined to fair, get that's through that's this fair. episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Next question. Pick your worst quality out of the two. Overprotective or... Damn, this is deep. Wait, this is, this is getting quite deep. Overprotective or self-doubt. Worst quality out of the two. I don't know. Both? <laughs> Both? No, no, no. No, fair, fair. All right. One of the two. One of the two. Maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe self-doubt? Self-doubt? Sure, let's go with that. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Pick a word that describes you out of these two. Sex bomb. Out of these two. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Either resourceful or whimsical. Who wrote this quiz? Oh wait, Buzzfeed. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> uh, let's let's go resourceful. Resourceful. I think no, that's a fair answer. Well done, well done. All right, how many Thank more you. questions? Thank you, Jesus sir. Christ. Thank you. All right, we have, we have a few more questions. Oh God. All right. <laughs> Ready for your next question? Pick a mythical creature, either a mermaid or a dragon. A unicorn. You, no. <laughs> Mer mermaid or a dragon? Do you like do you like dragons? With dragons. Did you like dragons growing up? Yeah. Yeah. Dragons are, are, are like you into pretend dinosaurs. Are you into Game of Thrones at all? No. <laughs> Hold on. 
<laughs> no, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. Dragons. So. Dragons? <laughs> All right, absolutely, absolutely. All right, cool. All right, hold, next on, one. hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he's left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, wait, just sit on your throne. Sit on your throne. Put that one there. Uh, yeah, just hold that one. No, there look, I'm not into Game of Thrones at all. No, I didn't think so. Do you know the show Game of Thrones at all? Never heard of it. Oh, okay, well, we'll have to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. How do you approach challenges? With creativity or with strategic analysis? Like a bowls. Like a bowls. Like a bowls. Strategic analysis. I would have said strategic analysis for you as well. For shall, for shall. Okay, so... Next question. Pick pick an aesthetic. Cottage core. Do you know what that is? I don't know what, what cottage core. What the heck is cottage, cottage core? Cottage core is like uh, Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you. So that's that's a photo there. That's a photo right there. No. Cottage core kind of. No. Or chaotic academia. Chaotic whatever. Yeah. I, I would I would call Wait, myself chaotic. Wild in. <laughs> I, I would call myself chaotic neutral. Yeah, okay. chaotic neutral. Dungeons and Dragons reference. How do you not know that as a I fan don't of play Stranger Dungeons. Things? Anyway, next question. <laughs> uh, what what drives you? Okay, a car. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the two, what drives you? Dreams and imagination, or justice and protection? Oh, dreams and imagination every day, darling. Yeah, yeah. Mm, fair, 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 fair. All right, how many more? All right, we've got two last questions. Oh, God. All right. Until I find out which absolutely Until I boss out which hero I am. princess you are, yes. Well said. What would, what would you be more excited to find? A rare flower or an ancient scroll? An ancient scroll. You know, whenever I hear the word scroll, I think of Kung Fu Panda. The legendary scroll. scroll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You say that in Mandarin. I don't, I, I don't know how. Oh. Uh. What a loser! I know, fake, <laughs> I'm fake. No, I'll have to, I'll have to research that one. The legendary scroll. Anyway, <laughs> all right, which one? Rare flower or ancient scroll? Ancient scroll. All right, ancient scroll. Bro, I actually, I, I respect. Um, what do they call it? People who find, um, like really Botanist? old stuff. No, no, no uh, like, like archaeologists. Yeah, yeah, that one. Archaeologist. Yeah, archaeologist. <laughs> <laughs> no, like it's actually like cool, like the uh, the stuff they find. Kids, this is why you stay in school. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, okay, pick a shoe. Okay, I have to show you this one because there's no words. So pick a shoe. Do you like the like the stiletto or, or the like, boot? Oh yeah. We, you, <laughs> of course, you, <laughs> you know the shoes. I have no idea. Mm. I mean, stilettos would hurt, but they do look glam. Which ones are those ones? Are they these ones? No, they're the boots. Oh, oh, the oh. boots are the ones oh, that look like boots, yeah, yeah, yeah. you dork. <laughs> 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 All right, stilettos? Are you vibing with that? Um, boots. Yeah, they are glamorous, but I, I'm more practical, so we'll go with boots. Boots? Okay. These boots are made for walking. Boots and boots. Boots and boots. Okay. So which Marvel superhero am I, Brody? You are a Marvel superhero. <laughs> Spider-Man. What that means is you're a fearless, bold, and powerful Marvel superhero. You embody strength, courage, and justice in a world of action-packed adventure. Was that good? Was that a good, like, narrator thing? Mm, that's accurate. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's kind of accurate. I think that's pretty accurate. All right. Are you ready? Do you want to do another one? Sure. We'll do one more. All right. There's this one. Uh, the title is, you know a lot about 2000s movies. Do you know a lot about 2000s movies? I think so. All uh, right. You score an eight out of 10 on this quiz. Can you score an eight out of 10 at this quiz? All uh, right. Let's, let's, let's see how well you know your Ask 2000s me. quiz. Ask me. All right. Okay. Sure. I'll, I'm going to be surprised if you haven't watched this. Have you watched Mean Girls? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which of these facts is true about Rachel McAdams? So she's like the, the bully. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you probably knew you watched it. <laughs> um, okay, so one, she had to get her ears pierced for the role. Two, she wore a, a wig. Oh, this is like the actress. Oh, the actress, actress. Yeah, Rachel, oh. Rachel McAdams is the actress. Oh, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> Duh. <laughs> Shows you I've watched it. Um, she uh, she shot all her scenes in just nine days. That is crazy. But which one? <laughs> which one do you think? Shot all her scenes in nine days. Yeah, is a fact. Yeah. Like which? That shot, one? Shot all of her scenes in nine days. Wrong. <laughs> what, what was it? Wig. She wore a wig. Oh, good Lord. Yeah. But okay. had that negative hairline. <laughs> <laughs> negative headline is that what negative we call headline. baldness now <laughs> yeah negative hairline okay next all right next you know Meryl Streep don't you the queen of all queens yeah all right Meryl Streep's performance in the devil wears Prada why is no one ready here yeah the <laughs> devil wears Prada was partially inspired by which actor Clint Eastwood Humphrey Bogart is that how you say it Bogart yeah Humphrey Bogart or Barbara Streisand. Do, do, do. No, Barbara Streisand. Oh, geez, that's a hard one. I mean, the obvious answer would be the female actor, right? You, yeah, you'd think so. The two guys here, but but I feel like maybe Humphrey Bogart. Yeah, you want to lock that one in? What was the first one? First one was Clint Eastwood. No, I don't see Clint Eastwood. I do see Humphrey Humphrey Bogart. Yeah, I we're think. locking that in. Sure, let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> it was Clint Eastwood. What? Yeah. Clint Eastwood. Well, hey, now you know. Now you know. So if anyone asks you, no, now no. you know. That wasn't a question. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, you know, in sync, yeah? Uh, <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Uh, <laughs> I think they came back after the oh, – not they came back, but the – so bye bye bye. You know what's so funny is is yeah. if you actually go on YouTube and look up the official bye 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 song from NSYNC, they've changed it to bye 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 by NSYNC official Deadpool and Wolverine soundtrack. How crazy is that? <laughs> like the amount of time that the, uh, the, the like the amount of like years that that song has been out for. Yeah, just to be named the official yep. know, Deadpool soundtrack. It's yep. crazy. All right, so. Uh, so InSync's members uh, were extras in what movie? And then in brackets it says oh. in which their scene was ultimately cut. Oh. Um, Spider-Man, Austin Powers in Goldmember, or Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. I feel like Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Let's go with that. Do you want to lock it in? No, but sure. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> oh my God. Star Wars? Yeah. What? Star Wars Episode 2, Attack on the Clones. So, according to Joey, they played uh, they played Jedi and were asked to do the cameo because their daughters of George Lucas and the film's producer, Rick McCallum, were fans of the band. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. How crazy is All that? Right, cool. That's another Star Wars fact for you. All right. Which A-list, which A-list star was really interested in playing Christian in... Moulin Rouge. Oh, I love Moulin Rouge. Oh, I love Did you Have you watched it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My so. gift is my song. <laughs> and this one's for you. I saw it. You on. can tell everybody. Oh, pop, off. pop off. This is your song. Oh. Maybe oh. quite simple, but now that it's done, done, I hope you don't mind. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So which A-list star was really interested in playing Christian in Moulin Rouge? One, oh, these are, oh, these are like the 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 big three: Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, Leonardo DiCaprio. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Yeah, I reckon. You locking that in? Mm, sure, but I feel like it might actually be Leo. But no, go with Matt Damon. Uh, Matt da you should have gone with Leo. Ah, uh, no, yeah, I Leonardo technically got DiCaprio. that right. Yeah, so. Leo, uh, Leo told Variety that he sung Lean On Me for the film's director. Lean on me. There you go. When you're not strong. All right. I don't actually know who this lady is, but... Oh, God. Megan Mullally? You're fired. <laughs> Who's Megan Mullally? That's Karen from Will and Grace, you absolute piece of... Oh. That is the greatest character in sitcom television history. You are fired. <laughs> Oh, I had no idea. She is also married to the great Ron Swanson oh. 
from Parks and Recreation. Okay, okay. Well, let's let's see if you know this fact. Let's see if you know this fact if you're a true diehard fan. All right. Megan M- 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 Mullally. Mullally. Megan Mullally was... <laughs> that's funny. Was fired from a role in what Pixar movie? Oh, God. Did you know she was in a Pixar film? I did not, know. All right. Well, clear she won't. She was fired. Um, Cars, Finding Nemo, or Monsters, Inc.? Monsters, Inc. Locking it in? Yep. Okay. Finding Nemo. What? Yeah, so apparently she what was- What idiot cast Megan Mullally in Finding Nemo and not Monsters, Inc.? Yeah, well, according She's to She's a Megan, monster. She's incredible. She could have played Roz, for God's sake, in Monsters, <laughs> Inc. <laughs> Always watching. Yeah, no. Well, apparently she was fired uh, be, uh, from the movie because she refused to use the high-pitched voice she used for her Will and Grace character. Oh, you can't. Good lord. Yeah, there it's you a go. specific character. Like you're not. You're hiring Megan Mullally, not fuck, not not Karen. Yeah, no, fair enough. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. That's reason dumb. Why, eh? Yeah. All right. Next question. Well, you're an idiot, Disney. Next. Absolute imbecile. Uh, which famous singer co-produced? The Princess Diaries. No. Oh, shoot. That's a bit of a blast from the past. Whitney Houston. Gloria F- uh, Estefan. Estefan. Gloria Estefan. 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 Unbelievable. Estefan. Gloria Estefan or Elton John? I feel like that's such an Elton John thing to do. Elton, really? Yeah. I would have said Whitney Houston. No. No, I wouldn't. I would have said Gloria. Not gonna lie. All right, Elton John. You don't even know who Gloria Estefan is. Well, I reckon she's a badass. I think. Okay. Is she? We'll we'll go with Elton. Elton? Whitney (laughs) Houston! (laughs) Oh, I should have stuck with my gut on that one. Whitney Houston. Why? Yeah, Whitney produced the movie and its sequel. Wait, hold hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to confirm, the goal here was to get them all wrong, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. (laughs) <laughs> no, yeah, so apparently Whitney produced the movie and its sequel, The Princess Diaries 2. All right, when casting Batman Begins, the oh. film's writer. Yeah, is this, Joel yeah, Schumacher. This is up your alley, up your alley, oh, no, yeah. Joel Schumacher was the director. Yeah, uh, yeah. so director Christopher Nolan. Oh, Batman um, Begins. Yeah, Batman, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry, I was thinking of Batman Forever. No, no, yeah. So, so yeah, Batman Begins. Christopher Nolan, yeah. Yeah, Christopher Nolan wanted Heath Ledger for what role? Bruce Wayne as Batman. Obviously. Harvey Dent. Jonathan Crane, Scarecrow, or DK Raz Al Ghul. Oh, no. I think he actually wanted him for Scarecrow from memory. Yeah? Yeah. I think that we'll, we'll go with Scarecrow. I, 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 I like that answer. I, I'm... <sighs> Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. According to Christopher, before casting Christian Bale as the role, he met what? with Heath, who passed the role... Um, who passed on the role, sorry, uh, because he said he would never take a role with you know, in a superhero movie. And then he takes a role anyway. No, no, no. He would, yeah. So as Joker. So. I'm confused by that. There you go. Next question. Next question. So have you seen Bring It On? No. No? What is it? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a cheerleader movie. Uh, funny that, when I went down to Tasmania, I actually went to see my school. Uh, my, you do look like college. a cheerleader. I actually, I did cheer. <laughs> I actually, no, I actually did cheer for like two weeks, three weeks. <laughs> and it was, it was, it was when they asked fun. you to do the splits and you're like, mm, nah. No, no, that's where I like jumped in the air, did the splits, did a double back. No, no, no. They put me as um, like right at the back. Uh, I forgot what that's called, but yeah, that no, checks like out. to lift all the chicks up. Um, anyway, I bet you loved that. No, <laughs> I actually no, I, I actually had to just look like, oh no, I had to like make sure that you know she was standing. But like, anyway, that's a side note. <laughs> so, uh, Gabrielle Union agreed to star in Bring It On after she was passed on for a role in what movie? Sugar and Spice, Crazy Beautiful, or Jawbreaker? Jawbreaker. Yeah, it's the only movie out of those three that I actually remember. Sugar and Spice. Oh, thank God! I was worried I'd get one right. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, you're consistent, and that is all that matters. Exactly, you are consistent. Okay, Beauty, uh, Beauty and the Beast, Princess and the Frog. All right. Yep. <laughs> Who Which was... isn't a two thousand anyway? Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Who was Disney's first choice to voice Prince, uh, Princess uh, Tiana in The Princess and Frog? Beyonce? Um, is it Haley? No. Halle Berry? Halle Berry. Oh, my God. Halle Berry? The, the chick who played or... Storm in the original X-Men. Oh, my God. Oh, Halle... Is that oh. that chick? Jesus Christ. That she she's the uh, actress that you know like the like an actor's face you can't really put them with their name. Is that yours? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, You've detached her head from her body. Okay. Gotcha. Pretty much. Pretty much. Or Kerry Washington. Oh, I love Kerry Washington. Um, I feel like Kerry Washington was big back then in Scandalous. Mm. But I don't know. I don't know if she would have ever been considered for what the, I don't know. Everyone <laughs> wanted everyone wanted Beyonce in everything. So I'm gonna go with yeah. Beyonce. Beyonce? Yeah. Yeah, locking it in. Queen herself. Hey! I mean <sighs> Correct. God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> So uh, apparently Beyonce reportedly missed out on the role because she refused to audition, which is a what? shame. Yeah, which is a shame because Princess and the Frog was actually a banger. Dude, Beyonce don't audition. Yeah, like... Bitch, please. <laughs> uh, just just give her the role. Like, why does she need Beyonce's to audition? Beyonce's entire life has been a lifelong audition. She doesn't need to audition <laughs> for anything. Leave, leave, leave Queen Beyonce alone. That's it. No, <laughs> but like, yeah, that's interesting, interesting. Yeah, well, there you go. Um, okay. Next question. Scottish actor Dougray Scott. Dougray? Dougray. Dougray Scott. Uh was originally cast as Aragon in The Lord of the Rings. Yes. No, I I, I do genuinely think that that's the answer. You don't want me to go through the uh, other ones? Go through the others. Uh go through the others. Tony Stark is Iron Man in Iron Man. Or Wolverine in act- X-Men. Oh. Wolverine. You changed it? Yep. Why'd you change it? Yep. Oh. I have a vague memory of a conversation mm. that Russell Crowe had when Doug Ray Scott said no because he was pre-committed elsewhere. Yeah. So they approached Russell Crowe and then Russell Crowe said, look, not my jam, mm. but let me, introduce you, let me introduce you to a bloke that I know. His name's Hugh Jackman. Oh. And he's working in stage theatre in Sydney at the moment. Aussies looking out for Aussies. Yeah. <laughs> I think right. Doug Ray Scott. Yeah, so uh, I think um, I think uh, Wolverine. Um, Wolverine. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Well done. I mean, there you go. There you go. I do correct. know something. There you go. You want to know how many you got correct? Two. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the complete. That was the goal. That's what we wanted. Yeah. You yeah. were consistent until the end. You needed to get two out of ten, right? Or was it needed to that, get that, eight out of ten? You needed you... to exactly get two out of ten. No. So no, no, no. It said if you get eight out of ten wrong. No. It's. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. The title was, you know, a lot about two thousands movies. Clearly, um, if you score eight out of ten on this quiz, yeah. So I scored eight out of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So <laughs> you obviously know a lot about two thousands movies. <laughs> I've been actually, exposed as a fraud. I'm actually glad that uh, we went through this because now I know a heap of facts and new people that, that you I'm will never ever for. ever remember. No, but. Yeah, no, that's 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 good. That's good stuff. All right, you reckon that's it? I reckon that's it. Squirt, squirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you want do you want me? To, are, you, are you gonna do that, or are you just gonna no. clock in okay, for okay, half okay, your I'll shift? Do, I'll do nah, it already, nah, ready? stuff oh, you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been the post credit <laughs> show. I've been your co-host, Loosh. That's been the big boss man over yeah. there, Brody. Don't forget to say hi to your mum for me. See, See you guys. Says. See ya. Squirt, squirt.